We're always in our clubhouse getting high. Super fuckers. Everybody wishes we would die. Super fuckers. Here we come. Like a bomb. Everybody fucking run and hide. Hey, it's the Pizza Party Podcast. I'm Pan Pizza. Who are you people? Uh, I'm Nolan. No, you're uh, not. This is I, Ken. I'm Ken. No. Uh, I'm Nolan. I want to fuck uh, Pac-Man in the butt. Yes. What's wrong with you people? I'm a chubby chaser. Anyway, <laughs> the, the, the next video is going to be top 10 worst redesigns for cartoons. That's going to come out next Tuesday. You w- And it's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah, there's something in there. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get into the news. The news. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Cruising on that main street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing- There's a new CGI Magic School Bus reboot coming 2016 for Netflix. Ah, uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Only for Netflix? Yeah, Netflix. It's. Isn't it That's like it. sci-fi and it takes place in the future or some shit? Something about technology and... Are they like fucking androids and shit? Yeah, Miss Frizzle the android. I hope at the end of the series all the kids die. <laughs> like, they slowly each get replaced by a robot wo- Slowly, like, they start to find out, but then they say, Wait, Carlos, you're an android, but then that means, oh, uh, uh, she knows too much. Replace her. I and no, Miss Frizzle just smiles and then she says in like this really demonic, like, <laughs> ringtone voice Seat belts, everyone. Seat belts, everyone. Please let this be a normal field trip. I'll with do the, the crossover with the reading rainbow. No way, no way man. <laughs> Yeah, I never understood a reading, ra- not, not a re- um, the magic school bus, because like Miss Frizzle would take them to like the space or the the prehistoric history where dinosaurs inside some guy's butthole. The next episode, that shows weird. <laughs> I was just fuck. about to say that you fuck. This is how an asshole works, kids. I want to know the permission slips that Miss Frizzle passes out to to the parents. Like may or may not be ejected from anus. It's, it just says, yeah, you your kids might get eaten by a dinosaur. We're not responsible if that happens, but it's gonna happen. So damn, you know. man. Now I want to see like a gritty like reboot of Magic School Bus. There's already like a movie trailer of that. Like somebody made a movie trailer of the Magic School Bus, and it's like Miss Frizzle gets sent to hell. <laughs> so all the, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. So all the kids have to like go on a field trip and find her. The Magic Catholic School Bus. Let's go to hell. <laughs> CGI times the CG die. <laughs> <laughs> Repent, motherfucker. Suck on Any this, stocking assholes. Sucks. Yeah. All right. Okay. They're rebooting a. Uh, Powerpuff Girls for 2016, a new TV series. There's no, it doesn't say if it's going to be in the style of the old show or the Kevin Dart's uh, Dance Pants special. I think it's going to be in the Dance Pants special. I think that would cost them too much or too much time. For Powerpuff Girls, just like, just let it die already. Come on, at least reboot something else like Ed and Eddie. Come on. Well, they're, you they're know also... what the creator of Ed and Eddie said? They said, fuck America. Yeah. Especially next we're done with those. Canadian fucks. I wish I could interview Danny Antonucci. He's as fucked up as I am, possibly. Moving on to the next bit of info. Yeah, The Iron Guard. It's a preschool series of uh, The Lion King featuring Simba's child. It, no, wow. Simba's second child. Second child, yeah. Creatively titled Kion. K-I-O-N. What does that mean? Blow my dick. Kanta. Kion or what? Let's look up what Kion means in Swahili. Swahili. You think Simba's gonna die just to repeat history? I hope like wait, is it like a kids show or something? Like little kids? Yeah, preschool show where they're learning about nature. Oh, learning how to get over a family's death. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> First fucking episode, kids. Here's some reality. Simba fucking dies. Yeah. Simba gets eaten by poachers. How does it what feel? Fuck, How does it feel to know that your parents are fucking dead? Yeah, the elephants are gonna have their tusks removed and made into pianos. Batman's a narrator, like, my parents are dead, now your parents are fucking dead. Fuck you, lions. I am pissed because beware the Batman's gonna get cancelled or is already cancelled. I'm already cancelled. Help me. Fuck. 
this whole time I've been looking up what Kion is in Swahili, and these guys are just having a ball by themselves. Why do they even need me? What what is what does it mean, Kion? It doesn't mean anything. Oh, it's literally they literally just took uh, um lion and changed it to like Kion. Uh, like at least that's like oh, literally. So it's uh, lion the lion. Okay, that makes oh, sense. no shit. Simba Simba's. Simba's name means lion in Swahili. Are you kidding me? So it's me? Simba in Swahili. Um, in Swahili, lion is Simba. Let's let's go on to the next story. Uh, penguins of Madagascar. They're making us. Who gives a shit? <laughs> they're making a <laughs> next thing. Okay, fine. <laughs> they're making us a, a, a movie about the penguins from Madagascar, and it's their own story. For the next but thing. Next. Next. Who gives Come a fuck? On. Like seriously. Fuck you guys. Nobody gives a shit about professionalism on this podcast, Pan. Just move on to the stuff we want to talk about. Fuck that. Madagascar 3 was good. Well, anyway. Um, okay, the the CEO and president of the Hub Channel, Margaret Loesch. Yeah, she uh, she quit. She's fucking out of there. I'm sick of bronies. I'm done. Goodbye. Fuck you, you pony fuckers. You ruined everything. I'm out. <laughs> I imagine, like, employees, like... <laughs> Bring their pony dolls and it's have like hot glue all over them. Bring your pony to work day. <laughs> Warren took care of the bronies, but after Lauren left, like the bronies just went r- rat maverick. They're just all over the place, coming on everything. Lauren has forsaken us. Wasn't this after her resurrection though, when she died in like 1997? Superman. So the Hub Channel is fucked. Did 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 any of you have been watching the Hub Channel recently? Uh, no. They they got rid of Dan versus and Aquabats, so there's just no point. I still hate any maniacs because of that music and the sound uh background is obnoxious. We are the anal maniacs. Well, fuck you to the max. Wasn't Aquabats really popular or something though? Like, was it a cult hit or? Well, it's I'm sure it's a cult hit, and cult hits mean not not very successful because it's only like a certain group of people. That knew. I think that show like branched out to uh like other animators because I remember Sporky or whatever fucking or name is uh did like an animation for that. Hey, it's a cartoon! Holy crap! I never saw I've never fucking that. seen it. Okay, it, it was very. It, it kind of felt like it was made for preschoolers and stupid children, <laughs> which I kind of. I'm pretty enjoyed. sure it was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is exactly what I'd expect from an Aquabat show. Also, in the news is a. Uh, for E3, the video game con- video game ex- expo showing all the new video games. There- there's this thing called Cuphead. It's a shooter like Contra or Metal Gear. Metal Slug. Except the style of it resembles like like Popeye, Betty Boop, 20 style animation. Too bad no one's going to get it. I'm going to get it. One. Do you have an Nobody's Xbox One? Nobody's going to get it, Pam. It, okay, well, it's on Xbox One, but it's also on Steam, even though my... Uh, the only thing, the only thing I can play that has Steam is my shitty Mac lap book, So it's I need to get well, a it's game 2D, computer. not 3D models. Yeah. If anybody has good computer um, gaming recommendations, send us a comment. No, don't. I, I, I really don't care. Also, draw I care. Of me having sex with Psy and Mickey. Uh, let's see, Princess Peach, uh, Princess Daisy, and uh, Shrek. Thank you. Well, this other bit of news: uh, Tanami's bringing. Dragon Ball Z Kai to America. Yeah, um, Nickelodeon already jumped the gun there, pal. Well, finally, Dragon Ball Z is back to uh, where it belongs on Toonami, the action block. Aw, uh, yeah, guys, time to see the same show again for the 15th time. Well, Kai is... Dragon Ball Z Kai, it's a remake of Dragon Ball Z. Same footage, but they spliced it up so it's way shorter. N- none of that filler. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm the just so excited. Wasn't the best I, I, I mean... I care so much. Uh, no, then you don't. You just don't understand Dragon Ball Z. I really want Goku to be. You know what I do Smash. understand though? Good taste. Oh no! Why do you hate Dragon Ball? Besides it being super filler heavy and taking forever for anything to happen. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem with watching Dragon Ball Z. Kind of Dragon Ball nowadays, it just takes forever. It's just like. Hey, he's shooting energy. Oh, he's shooting energy too. Oh, he's got to charge. It's not like he's that. He's not shooting energy. He's charging up. Like, look at that guy. He's he, wow. He, just, damn, that guy is fucking hot. Oh my god, look at those fucking abs, bro. Holy shit. That guy's charging up, and you just wait, cause when he charges up, you're you're in trouble. But you just wait. Oh, he missed. Oh, fuck. oh he's got to charge up again. Oh. oh my god, this is fucking hot. Oh my 
look at his fucking bod, bro. Oh shit. Oh, we gotta continue oh, this yeah. the next episode, so <laughs> maybe he'll shoot it, right? <clears throat> yeah. Now let me read you this comment that I got on the uh, top ten failed pilots video where I talk about Lakewood Plaza Turbo, which is literally basically um Adventure Time meets Dragon Ball. And it, which is it's not a failed pilot anymore because Ian Quincy Jones, the creator's uh, showing progress that it's being made into a show. We just don't know when exactly. Anyway, this comment says, this one's by Captain Hicker Deckman. He says, the second you said AT, Adventure Time, and Dragon Ball in the same sentence, I lost all respect for you. No, in, <laughs> all, in all caps, no excuses should ever be made as to why shit and Dragon Ball are compared and or used in the same sentence. What a fucking loser. <laughs> That's cheerlism. <laughs> oh, <laughs> quit bullying cheerlism. Cheerlism is this poor girl we bully on Tumblr. She, she's a good friend. Some not, not really a friend. No, she's not. She's a punching bag to us. <laughs> Hashtag stop cheerlism 2014. Hashtag follow Sherlism and then bully her every yeah. time you get the chance. No, don't. Don't. Oh. Please don't. She's really nice. Don't do it. Like, I don't want, like, 50 million of pan subscribers thinking it's funny to go, oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to her blog and fuck her up. And then, like, everybody does it. Yeah, fuck her up. Don't do it. Push her down the stairs and laugh at her. Anyway, this comment, the one that says, the second you said Adventure Time and Dragon Ball are in the same sentence, I lost all respect for you. First off, I don't know or care who you are, so already your respect was zero. And if, it's, and if your respect is lost for something so stupid, then your respect wasn't worth anything to begin with. Wow, I guess that person doesn't even need to exist Stop himself now. off pan and get to the next point already. Damn, how dare this guy say two TV shows, two children's shows in the same sentence. I fucking lost my respect for him. Fucking dare you, Pan. Dragon Ball Z is not a children's show. It's an adult action anime featuring Goku-san and Vegeta who are madly in love with each other. You be the shit. <laughs> yeah, it's for adults only. Bunch of sh anyway, the final news report. Sonic I get to say it. Sonic the Hedgehog the one we all know and love, is being adapted into a movie by Sony Studios. And here's the kicker. Well, two kickers, actually. It's going to be a combination of um, computer-generated imagery and live action, and they plan on making a franchise out of it, one movie per year, annually. An annual release. So it's going to be like Alvin and the Chipmunks, but with Sonic. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I hope Sonic goes into the real world and meet, like, Chris, and then Chris is like, who no. the fuck are you? No. And then Sonic's like, oh, man. We don't talk about Sonic X. What do you think of this movie? Uh, it could gonna suck, possibly, because I'm negative, and nothing <laughs> Sonic have is good. They, they waited this long to make a Sonic, well, unless you count the anime movie, they waited this long the to make The anime a movie was the best fucking thing out of all the Sonic TV shows, and if anybody says otherwise, I will literally chop their dick or vagina off. The, 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 you mean the one where uh, Knuckles had a cowboy hat and he could fly? That cowboy hat was fucking amazing, and he didn't fly, he was gliding, okay? There's a difference. Oh, oh and, and the fact that so Sonic just, you no know, tells his voice... I'm so sorry. I'm pale. Oh my god. You could do that okay. really well. I didn't hate it. I kind of like Sonic's voice. I don't know if it, you guys did. Shut up, Tails! Sonic's dub voice was actually done by a 15 year old, so. Did, did someone br did, did someone shatter a vase right now? Yeah, I did. I was mad. Well, let's just say the Sonic OVA is one of the better Sonic dub jobs out of anything Sonic has made, and that's not a very good sign. I, I mean, I remember that movie had, like, a, for some reason, like, a cat girl who was the president's daughter. Yeah, oh, fun fact hot. about that, actually. If you stop on the frame where, like, they're, um, Eggman, Sarah's fantasizing about her and Eggman's kids, like, she's not doing it positively. She's like, oh, my God, what if? Like, you can see her breastfeeding one of the kids. It's really fucked up. What the fuck? Well, the thing is, nobody saw that movie, so it's okay. Anyway, I'm hope I'm hopeful for this live action CGI mix. It's probably gonna have like Neil Patrick Harris, Eddie LeBron. <laughs> oh yeah, the Sonic <laughs> fan film. Eddie LeBron. Let's, let's talk about the Sonic fan film. <laughs> it was way past cool. 
Oh yes, it was. Oh, I like the Sonic Dawn film. It was the worst. It was the best fan fiction I ever read. I mean, saw the blue blood, the blue blur. I especially love how it was like post production 3D. Like they like fucking just made him made him jump out of the aspect ratio just to get that good 3D effect. Yeah, there's a scene where uh, Sonic's running and he jumps into the air, but you know how in theatrical mo- like in mo- some movies there's like black bars on the top and bottom. There's for one scene, Sonic jumps and he jumps outside of those bars. Like nobody noticed or could fix it. They just threw it out because we're talking about this Sonic fan film made by some guy named Eddie LeBron. It's I thought it was a good effort. I mean, it, the audio was very clunky. Nah, it was terrible. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know, but come on, I mean, stop being positive. It sucked. But, I mean, there was cameos and. The, 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 oh well, cameo. The, the nostalgia critic showed up and Who he killed a shit. He showed up and grew his hair for this movie. That's how dedicated he was. And guess what happened to his hair? It all went away. <laughs> yeah. Doug Walker is really dedicated to his performances in Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. He had the power to grow hair, but he just chooses not to. I guess. The great power. No responsibility. Well, uh, AVGN was in the Sonic movie and it was like, how much am I getting fucking paid? There were so many cameos in that movie. It was just like pointless. A movie yeah. with a lot of cameos in it. I, I think, think a worse movie Sonic. is the Mega Man fan film. That was okay. That was better than the Sonic one. Bro <laughs> looked like a dude. I mean, Eagle Raptor showed up as like the voice of one of the robots and. Yeah, and on Game Grumps, he was just like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> No one wants to talk about it. Like, after he was done recording, like, they said, yeah, you still owe us money. And they just beat his ass in the recording booth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why Ego Raptor is just like, he doesn't want to talk about it because he got the shit kicked out of him by Eddie LeBron and Sonic. <laughs> like, yeah, we're way past cool. You know, just, in the face. despite popular, popular belief, that was a puppet Sonic, actually. You because like of all the weird mouth like animations, like it just looked like it was flapping up and down. You know, it was actually a puppet. Oh man! Oh yeah! Let's, let's talk about Sonic's design because he was he, it was like regular Sonic in the game, but except he had hair sticking out. It was it was kind of reminded me of one of the early Sonic 06 models where they gave Sonic like realistic fur. Yeah, they did something that Sonic 06 refused to do, if that's possible. The worst Sonic game, one of the worst. Yeah, it's weird, though, because they like tried to make him like a real hedgehog like he has fur and then he has like quills. It's so much better if it was a real hedgehog, just like a hedgehog with like blue paint on him. He just like a blur effect every time he runs. I mean, I I guess it's if (laughs) if we're talking technically, it's an okay model, but still the design for it is just. (laughs) That'll be great. The real hedgehog. his mouth is just really wide and just like uh, <laughs> that's normal. But I just love that they keep referring to him as like they didn't know his name at the time, so they called him the Blue Blur. Yeah, it's I'm like the hero that the world needs, but not the one it deserves. Oh yeah, this is happening. <laughs> oh my god, it's like it's like they knew like saying Sonic the Hedgehog just takes like the seriousness out of everything. So it's like, oh man. They, they, they tried to make give him like a, a cool name like the Dark Knight, but it just didn't work. Like that, that's the worst they could possibly have chosen. It's like, it is like the Dark Knight actually. It's like the Dark Knight Rises. See, we're gonna be talking about the Sonic shows uh, later, but I think Sonic the worst, like Sonic absolute worst in story when it's like try to be really dark and serious, and this is proof of that. I, I feel like Sonic can pull up dark and serious so long as they don't make Sonic like this really boring ass character. Like in Sonic 06, the reason why it was just so bad was because Sonic wasn't even like Sonic. He was just like, I'm such a good guy. Hey, princess, want to make out? Yeah. Yeah, I brought some condoms. Like there's actually at the time, I think Jason Griffith was the voice actor. Yeah, yeah. he was. Yeah, he, he also did. He also uh acted in some condom commercials so you can look that up jason griffith condom commercials it's called those guys on youtube i'm surprised you remember all that oh yeah gotta bring my condom save sex yo that was sonic says fuck that was if you don't have a condom use stage two here we go come on tails yo too slow yeah you made it time to get knuckled uh, uh. <laughs> Donkey Punch. Uh. That one was gonna see like <laughs> Sonic Boom, like Knuckles and uh, Sonic plays uh, punchies like regular show, and then when Knuckles punches Sonic, he's like in a fetal position, really hurt, really badly. 
you know, his like ar- his arm is like mashed to pieces and it's like all like there's like the flesh tearing everywhere and bones are sticking out and it's just mangled beyond belief and Sonic's like screaming in agony and Knuckles is like, oh, oh fuck. no, you oh, made fuck, a chili no. dog out of my hand, bro. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and he's more concerned about the chili talk. <laughs> no, I can't eat my own arm now. It's, co- it's all covered in blood and chili. <laughs> yeah, and the chili's like burning his, like burning his blood, and he's like, "Wow, oh, God, stop the pain!" I can't tell what's the chili dog and what's my arm. I'll take both. <laughs> <laughs> that was my arm. <laughs> this is still good. Oh no. Too late to reattach it. Gotta eat it. <laughs> and then Knuckles is just like puking and he's like, oh my god. Oh god, my mouth are emmering everywhere, bro. Let's, ta- let's talk about Sonic Boom. <laughs> Sonic Boom is the upcoming, like, TV series for Cartoon Network, but also a, a video game where it's, I think, four-player co-op? Um, it, yeah. It's the four-player. Like, sometimes it's like you can only play as two players, and then sometimes it's four. Kind of like Nicktoons Unite. Yeah. We stand together now. Um, Pro Jared, um, a reviewer online, um, former Screw Attack member, um, said, compared Sonic Boom to Nicktoons Unite. The oh, game. I thought I made it. Uh, like a really great uh, comparison, but I guess I, re- I remember when Jared was on, Jared was on hard news. Yeah, he got fired because he got hard every time, and it was like really awkward for the other employees. I'm Jared, and this is my hard news. Unzips pants. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, they like, fired him after he just showed his dick on camera, and that got that was a weird uh, that was a weird episode of hard news. Like he was just giving the news, and you just see his dick on camera for like the whole thing. That was He's gonna a hate. He's going to hate us after this. <laughs> he doesn't know he exists. Anyway, talk, Sonic Boom. Okay, for the new Sonic Boom, the characters have been redesigned. Like, a Son- Sonic now has blue arms instead of flesh-colored arms, and they're all covered in bandages, and Knuckles is like this big hulking monster. The weird thing is, though, that Knuckles' he- Knuckles' body is huge, but they didn't change the size of his head. Yeah, it looks like they made him in a character creation creation thing in a video game, and they just put the body thing to all the way up and left everything the same well when i see the thing in motion it actually it doesn't look so bad it actually works i just can't get over sonic's blue arms i hope like when like sonic uncovers the bandages his hands are like all bloody and chilly dogged like we just talked about earlier every time he runs it gives him pain but he must run to save his family but the real question is pan and nolan what is he running from (laughs) what are you running from I'm running for my pass. Way past cool. Bruce Wayne as Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm Bruce Wayne, but I'm also Sonic. Gotta go fast. Uh, you want to talk about the Sonic cartoons the in order from, like, oldest to newest? What came out first was uh, The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, which was, like, basically just them being stupid for the sake of being stupid which I actually really love and they only had four chaos emeralds yeah okay this is what pissed me off because I remember watching the show in the 2001 like this was back when Sonic Adventure 2 came out and uh, it was on Toon Disney reruns of it because the show came out in 94 I think 92 but I was watching it in 2001 and I knew the show was old and but I but I knew Knuckles was also a, an old character like from the beginning like the third game and for the longest time, I was watching this show thinking, when's Knuckles going to show up? Where is he? Well, you got your wish eventually when they yeah, locked out with the cops that out. fucking shitty ass show that we don't fucking talk about. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that ep- show later. But anyway, this cartoon, like what also pissed me off is that I was wait, like, I was thinking like, this is nothing like the game. And then eventually they, they started to bring in the Chaos Emeralds, like a like a, a, a multi-part episode series where they're going to find the Chaos Emeralds. And there were only four instead of seven. Whoa, uh, I can't count. So You're I don't angrier about this than I am, and I'm like the resident Sonic geek. I don't care. I was so disappointed. <laughs> like, Why do you want to see Sonic turn Super Sonic? What, what, what would it be accomplished? Look, 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 I mean, I remember, like, this was on Toon Disney, like, they played an episode every day, and, like, every morning, I woke up, like, I think this was during the summer, and I watched it, and, like, oh, yeah, that's another emerald. 
Well, then they're gonna get the fourth one, which I was still mad about, but anyway, they finally got the four emeralds, uh, uh, Dr. Egg. Oh, I know what, uh, I know what one of the comments are gonna say. They're gonna say, wow, Panda, sure mad at that damn fourth chaos emerald, and if you make that joke, <laughs> you're an asshole. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, but anyway, what happened was that they got Eggman got all four Chaos Emeralds and he became super big. And then to stop him, you know what Sonic does? You know what he, he does? He pulled a plug. He no. pulled a tube. No, he, he goes, them. he has a time machine and he goes back in time and summons different versions. What the fuck? Five more versions of himself or something. And they just beat <laughs> Eggman. And then we don't see Super Sonic. We don't see the Emeralds ever again. It was a bunch of bullshit. No, I mean, it turns like, super. And they're like, oh, I know what to do. I'll go in the past and find, find different meat. And then it's all beat him up, like, mercilessly. It's, like, really violent or blood and stuff. Like, they, they, they just brute bludgeon him with, like, crowbars and just, like, kick him on the floor. <laughs> you see, the thing is, though, I don't give a shit. <laughs> but I was mad. I was like 10, 9 years old at the time and I was like, why didn't he turn into Super Sonic? <laughs> Pan beat him up like their fists like <sighs> Pan, this is Deke we're talking about. They'll cut corners whenever possible. Da, 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 Deke. They they couldn't they, they didn't have enough money back then to color Sonic yellow, so the, the worst video the worst cartoon company ever, Deke Entertainment, the one named Deke D I C. They knew what they were doing. Why'd they name it that? They knew what they were doing. <laughs> da, 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 Deke, yay. There's like, there's like in the, there's like an office like, hey, you know what be a real dick move? <laughs> and we just fuck up the Sonic and Mario continuity to the fucking extreme. Oh yeah, bro, let's do that shit. We'll do it. God. Let's have Captain N and make him the biggest tool douchebag motherfucker ever. Oh, you're such a dick, dick. Oh yeah, I am. The those kids will suck our dicks, yeah. Yeah. Fuck Mega Man. You, you guys have anything else to say about the this cartoon of Sonic? It was a show. I didn't watch it, and I don't give a fuck about it. So uh, maybe I'll do a video about it because I'm I'm I hate that emerald thing. Whatever. But anyway, the next the next cartoon was. Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic Sat AM because it aired at Saturday mornings. Blue streak speeds by Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic so Star overrated. Wars. It's so overrated. I thought it was called Sonic Satan. Yeah, I I'm gonna that. go to fucking hell, Sally. Don't go to hell, Sonic. I already am. I I like this cartoon. Like I, the. F- <sighs> I first heard about this cartoon like during like fifth grade. Like I was showing people my drawings and I t- basically traced over like the art for Sonic Adventure 2 and I was drawing Rouge the Bat and st- I-, I was showing people my drawings and said, oh yeah, I seen that character. She's on the Sonic cartoon. It's like, no, Rouge the Bat's not in any Sonic cartoons. And they told me about this one that, that was available on DVD at the at Best Buy and I go buy it. And, it- and they weren't talking about Rude to the bat. They were talking about Bunny, the the cyborg rabbit, because she has the same like chest piece. <laughs> How mad were you? <laughs> what the fuck? It's like that's not Rude the bat. That's a completely different character. I made fifty dollars for nothing. <laughs> what the fuck? But anyway, I was like, ah. who are? Th- I was like, who are these characters? Like, who's Sally Acorn and this this walrus guy? Why is Sally Acorn giving me unspeakable feelings in my crush area? <laughs> oh, no, I I felt more that way about Rotor, but okay. <laughs> like people want a re- people want a reboot of Sonic Satyam, but it would never work because pe- kids will be just so confused at who these people are. Just go read the. Go read the Archie comics. They got better after. No one's not gonna Penders read left. shit. I can't read. Okay, Nolan. You want me? We established that Ken can't read. You... Oh yeah, we did. It's true. Okay, I can't read. I don't know what the letters mean. What I don't about... even know what a letter is. Is that is that one? I don't fucking know. Sonic the 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 hedgehog. I don't even know how I went on Rebel Taxi. That was just a fucking accident. But anyway, I feel that Sonic Satyam was the best Sonic cartoon. I just like it was its own. It sucked. It was its own thing. It was, I mean, it was surprisingly dark. Like people got roboticized and killed. Well, not really killed off. Like they killed off like some generic characters, but one character they did. I thought like you hated that. Like every time they introduce like a minor character in the show and then they kill him off, that pisses you off. Well, the uncle was already killed, so that it's, well, he was roboticized, but same effect. Okay. I I will say that the cartoon is good, but I think it's like. 
vastly overrated by the Sonic fan base because everybody's like, oh my god, dude, Sonic Stadium was like the most revolutionary thing ever. And I'm like, no, it really wasn't. No, but it was it was pretty good, like, effort. Like, it had some of the best art in, like, a, at cartoons at the time. It, it was the best Deke show, like, ever. Yeah. Most, most they likely. didn't pull a dick move on that one. <laughs> it didn't, like, click to me as much. I didn't like yeah. Sonic's voice actor. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, Jaleel White. Um, It's uh, Urkel. How ironic his name is, like, Jaleel oh. White, and he's black. I can't wait. I can't wait till we talk about the um, show where he played all the characters. We'll, we'll get to that soon. But Jaleel White is like the whitest black person ever. And he's got the most appropriate name. I, I love when he was in the uh, in a, in the Sonic fan film. And he could he couldn't really do the voice that well. No, he, like, did, he did OK for like 30 years old. Yeah, but yeah, but he's the main voice that I think of when I think Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, hey, guys, have you heard in the latest news? Sonic died. Sonic's underground. Oh, hold on, hold that on. Joke for Tony Hawk. You guys are missing something. The Sonic the Hedgehog Christmas special. Oh, it was part of the uh, Adventure series. Uh, Sonic Adventures. Sonic S- Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. So. No, Princess Sally was in it. Oh, yeah, it was like a weird bridge thing. And Sally was pink like she was shaved off. I thought that was like the... <laughs> oh, I bet she was Hello. shaved off all right. No. <laughs> and, no. Oh, no. Gotta go fast. That was a Christmas special. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now on to Sonic. Sonic oh. Underground. The throne awaits. A seal warns of a deadly fate. Give up your children. Separate. Bide your time. Lie in wait. Sonic Underground. The worst Sonic cartoon in existence. It's like Sonic Satyam meets Phineas and Ferb because they would always have a stupid ass song in the middle. Ugh. No, it's it. like Sonic the Hedgehog meets Sonic Satyam meets Christian rock music. Because <laughs> this was a okay. This the show Sonic Satyam was about Sonic and his siblings named Sonia and Manic, and they're trying to find their mother. And the thing about the kids is that all three of them are voiced by Jaleel White, even even the girl. Yeah, even the girl. Although, except when they're doing their musical numbers, they get double D from Ed, Ed, and Eddie's voice to do the singing. <laughs> well, like, of all the people who get to sing, let's just get double D from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Something isn't right. Uh. Fuck this show, I hate Someone it. Someone give me 25 cents for Jawbreakers, I'll suck your dick. Backstage. Like, I remember seeing, like, this cartoon in, like, a, a promotion, like, okay, that Sonic Satyam DVD that I bought, it's the one that includes, like, a, a menu, like, the menu of that DVD is hosted, hosted by, by Inspector Gadget. Yeah, that one. <laughs> the buttons. If you want to Sonic press Sonic on the uh, ground button. fucking sucks. Why did you buy this DVD? <laughs> Hello, I'm Inspector Gadget. You like, are li- fucking like, lame. Literally, the whole show is just like, I'll how can we you, fuck bitch. up Sonic the Hedgehog? This is how we do it. Like, they make, like, Sat AM, which is, like, okay, people like that. And then Dick pulls a dick move and ruins all of that with Sonic on the ground. See, they're geniuses. This is one of the only few Sonic shows, though, where they actually animate all his spines. So that's something. Yeah, because back then, nobody really knew how to draw Sonic. It was always like a weird, like, no, all the 2D drawings, they always came out completely different from one another. Going back to Sonic's Hattie when I first bought that DVD, I saw promos for, like, Deek shows, and I thought, <laughs> and, and for a... <laughs> <laughs> you go in there, and it's just like, hey, welcome to our Deek show, this shows your dick. Oh, no. <laughs> this is dick, like, on this. And then he zips it up real fast, like, okay, thanks for coming out, everybody. It's Goodbye. like meatspin.com before meatspin.com happened. <laughs> go there. Do not go there. Wait, but what is – I haven't – I have never seen meatspin. It's it's a guy – Wait, hold on. No, don't spoil around. it. No, stop, stop, it's, stop. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna look it up right now. You – no. The original meatspin video. Okay, okay. let's do it. <laughs> I, I'm doing it. Okay, I got an advertisement from Rapunzel from Tangled um, fingering herself. Aw, oh, yeah. Finally. That's... Okay, hold on. I see it. I don't see it. Oh, my God. There's this. a web page blocking it. Fuck. You, you are about to see a live reaction of Meat Spin. As soon as he find the dick. So how are you guys doing today? Uh-huh. 
No, Pan, have not watched that show that you were talking about right now. Oh, that's not right too bad. Now. I've seen worse. Well, describe what you're looking at, Nolan. Okay, so some dude is, like, um, fucking another dude up the ass. That's not meat spin. That's something else. No, that's, and then the dick is, like, flying like around like a windmill. Oh, okay, that's the part. Yeah, the windmill part of with his dick. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember when I was on a live I have sat through 129 that. spins. The world record for meat spins is 10, mi- 10 million and 112 spins. Well, you can just put it in the background. Someone left that on, left their computer on for years and just let that go. Well, it's like a spin per second, so. Yeah, but let me go back to what I was what I was saying about Deke. In the Deke uh, DVD, like they had previews for other Deke shows like Super Duper Sumos, which that was a thing. But for a brief clip, I saw Sonic with a, a pink hedgehog and I thought, is Amy going to appear in this cartoon? Because they look very similar to Sonic's head TM and she did not. But who did appear in Sonic Underground was Knuckles. Oh, yeah. That was the oh, best dude. character in that whole show. I got to stop Sonic from stealing my Master Emerald. <laughs> I'm going to send my fucking pet dinosaur after him. <laughs> Wait, pet he dinosaur. has a pet fucking dinosaur. Fuck this show. <laughs> okay, the episode Friend or Foe, I know this because I saw a YouTube poop about it forever ago. I did too. I saw that same one. <laughs> yeah, the, but there's... This episode is just the worst fucking thing ever. It's the worst animated thing. It's so poorly animated because there's a scene where Knuckles almost falls down a cliff and Sonic picks him back up. And for some reason, Knuckles is like half the height of Sonic in the same frame. Because Sonic's like so fucking fat, you know. Just... It's, it's supposed to be foreshortening, but it's like the worst kind of foreshortening I've ever fucking seen in my yeah, life. It's like foreskin. Nah, never mind. <laughs> Go on. It is nothing like foreskin. We just went through meat spin. That was the first time like a character besides Sonic and Tails and Eggman appeared in in an animation, unless you count the uh, the anime movie. But I was so I was just like, that was it. Where's Shadow? Even though this game, Shadow, the game, this came out in like ninety eight. Oh, I want to see Shadow. Like Shadow just goes on and sings the most like emo Linkin Park ass song ever. Almost dead. I wanna feel. I want to hear. Oh, yeah. Please tell me you don't catch some of the lyrics of that song. The first time, you know, the first time I heard this song? Bleed it out. Okay, the, fir- the first time I heard that emo song, I think it was Linkin Park. Like, when I was in like fifth grade, my friend invited me over to his house. And you know what he. For a Linkin Park party? No, you know what he wanted to show me at his house? What? A DMZ? And then made a video. He showed me his freaking Dragon Ball Z AMV of that song. I wanna be, well, I never be oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and this was this was before YouTube, so you really couldn't put this anywhere. So you, the, the best you could do is like have a AMV party where you invite all your friends. Like, hey, look at what I edited together on <laughs> my, on <laughs> Windows Movie Maker, and nobody went to go see him again. <laughs> That reminds me of when I was younger and like I had my one of my family friends over and I was like, oh, my God, dude, I saw Sonic, the Sonic shorts collection. Come on, see it. And he's like, dude, this fucking sucks. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. It's funny. You just got to keep watching. You guys, what was the most embarrassing Flash Sonic cartoon you ever watched? No, they were they were okay. They hold up, but like I feel bad for making him sit through it. <laughs> oh God, my my friend made me sit through what's this thing called AMV Hell Three, which is basically a whole bunch of AMVs edited together, like cl- snippets of each one. And sometimes you would get like I think I've described to that something terrible, like a a scene from a movie, but they edit over with anime c- characters saying the words, oh and it's just God. so it's just so cringe inducing now that I. I- Fucking, you know what I really fucking hate it? Like, I'm looking for, like, fights against, like, characters like Goku versus Vegeta. And every time when I find a video, it's just fucking leaking park shit while they're fighting. And I can't hear what they're fucking saying. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop I doing that. that. Stop lying to me. Even ironically, this sucks. Literally, if you do that, you are literally satanic. And also, what you. the fuck is that when you look up, like, Dragon Ball episodes and it's, like, the screen is, like, really tiny. And then, like, there's, just, like, this border around it just having goku or some shit like that saying please just get to me youtube like fuck you no or or like fucking videos in parts you you have longer time limit what are you doing or they just like um go like oh it's on a different website and they link you to it and they like do do a deliberately misleading thumbnail and it's like eat a dick 
I hate YouTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, by the way. Uh, Rebel Taxi uh, 999. Um, Super Skeeter Pro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you want to move on to the next Sonic cartoon, Sonic X? I loved when it was on because it actually followed the games. Like there were episodes based on Sonic Adventure One and Two and Sonic Battle on Game Boy Advance. As if anyone be someone besides me remembers Sonic Battle on Game I Boy hate, Advance. I hate Sonic Battle so much. It was story heavy, but it was I thought it was fun. Like I remember it being being so impressed because it had like 3D graphics, even though it was just like the environments were like these very low poly blocks. The fight scenes were so lame in that, though. I remember being like so hyped up, like, "Oh yeah, Sonic versus Shadow," and it's just like Shadow, Shadow just punching him in the stomach, and then I was like, "Wait you know, a minute, fun fact, was fighting is fucking dumb." This um, Sonic X was animated by TMS Animation, the same people who did fucking Akira. Akira wasn't TMS like gone to hell? That's what I've heard. Yeah, but Sonic X had like one of the smallest TV budgets yeah, ever. I mean, it looks for, it's too saturated. The colors are too bright now. It's not even the it's not even the colors. It's just stained on model. It it looks fucking shitty. Uh, I don't know about that. I need to rewatch the series, but I think we all know why everyone seems to hate this show is because of Chris. Yeah, it would have been better if it was like a handicapped girl. <sighs> yeah, the handicapped girl was awesome. They did that episode, and it was actually really interesting and cute. And then like we got Chris. My parents are hardly around, but I have a ton of friends and a lot of money and a lot of people who love me. <laughs> My life sucks. Yeah. yeah. Okay, for anyone who hasn't seen Sonic X, Chris... Okay, so Sonic and his friends, his animal friends, they end up in the human world. Yeah, they go to Station Square from Sonic Advance, Sonic Adventure. They, they end up in the human world, and Sonic meets up with this 10-year-old boy named Chris. I don't know. And the main issue with Chris is that he's, he's the whiniest bitch in the his world. His parents are his parents aren't around. He's the richest piece of crap. And ever. that he doesn't have friends when he has two very supportive friends, a fucking nanny that like loves him to pieces, a, a grandpa. A, he has a black guy as a friend. That's like you can say any racist joke can get away with it now. Cr yeah. Chris's, Chris's friends are all the token minority. There's a girl. There's a a black kid there's a girl and a <laughs> handicapped girl there's a mexican maid <laughs> there's a mexican maid a japanese butler who looks like that claw guy from one piece the who fought Usopp. no that that was um kuro but they did not look anything like man you're high chris his he's his parents are rich his dad's a a, a billionaire businessman his mom's a a movie star, he's got a maid, he's got a butler, he's got all these friends, but Chris just isn't happy. It's just like his character is really uninteresting, and he was if, just like if he was the, like if he was like bullied, and his maid was like not, and his like butlers were just like treated him like butlers. They don't. They treat him like fucking family, and yet he's still like, oh, but my parents aren't around, and if it's they like did a something hot topic like customer. I mean, Chris is just has the greatest life like, with some minor issues. I mean, his parents are busy working for him, and they do show up to visit every as much as they can. But the whole show is just the rich get richer because Chris doesn't have enough. He has to get he has he has all that, and he has fucking Sonic. Fuck you, Chris. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I just you get Sonic the head. Well, to be fair, Sonic was hardly in the show because usually he was like, uh, I don't want to hang out with you guys. I want to go on an adventure. Literally, like the first half of the show, they're like they focus on everybody else but Sonic. And they're like, hey, let's all go to the beach. Yeah. And then they somehow try to tie back in with Sonic using Eggman. And it's just like, oh, ho, ho, I'm here to fuck up your plans. And they're like, oh, no. And then Sonic's like, I'll stop you, Eggman. And he does. And that's like literally the episode. That's like the first half of the series before they had um adapt like the video game arcs oh you, you know what i really hated from one episode was the one with mr intelligente it's which means intelligence in spanish it's so fucking stupid <laughs> but anyway dr eggman builds this robot and he brings it to takes it to chris's school and the school and the robot teaches kids stuff and he's actually a nice robot and he's friends with all the kids now so he's not a bad guy but then Sonic's like I gotta stop him <laughs> oh no no I remember go. how this episode goes it's like the robot Eggman then turns the robot evil and he makes all the kids paint pictures of the Eggman yeah. 
And then, like, Sonic shows up and kills that fucking robot. They're like, he didn't do anything. He was like, Sonic's a fucking psychopath. He's out of control. <laughs> Fuck you, Sonic. You killed that guy. He didn't do anything. No one paid pictures of Eggman. I was so mad. Like, why would he do that? That's just, like, Fuck you, Sonic. <laughs> Fuck you. I hate you, Sonic. If Mario was here, he would save him. I can't believe I'm the resident Sonic geek, and, like, you're getting more pissed off at all this shit than I am. Because <laughs> there's so much to complain about. <laughs> you should just do a Sonic series retrospective or something. Eventually I will, but what I loved about Sonic X is that it finally brought in all these characters like Knuckles, Amy, Shadow. They suck, that suck, that suck. Super Sonic, which actually that does suck. look cool yeah, when they did it. Finally did Super Sonic. Oh, I remember, like, watching Sonic AMVs because I'm really sad and like i always see like sonic super sonic and super shadow fighting in like the in the background and in the end i'm like oh man i can't wait for that fight to happen but and then never you see happened. it and it's just like oh oh that was like four seconds i don't remember that episode at there all. was shadow punching sonic in the gut well, oh yeah i i feel the need to bring this up you see four kids was really fucking terrible with budgets like they would commission studios to, like, make animated stuff for them. Like, for the po the third Pokemon movie, there's a scene in the English dub where, like, um, Team Rocket's fighting over, like, some food or something. And, like, they get left behind by the big bad guy. That was commissioned by four kids. Like, they added that in. They spent money on that just to put it in the English release for no fucking reason. And, and um, I bring this up because Sonic X... Like, the entire third season, it was supposed to end at season two, but 4Kids was like, no, this is really popular for us. We're going to commission a third season. Okay, in season two, didn't, like, uh, Sonic and his friends go back into their world and they left Chris behind, but... uh, Yeah, that, that's Chris how the got, series ended. Yeah, and then at le at the next season, like, Chris was, like, an adult and then he gets sent there and he's a kid again. Yeah, you know what's really fucked up? Oh my like, god, wait, no, I need I to... I thought something really to... fucked up. Like, Chris has left his whole family and everyone he loved he was married at that timeline and stuff like that and like when he comes back all those characters are going to be old and dead oh yeah oh god so chris just did the ultimate douchebag thing say goodbye to my wife goodbye to all my kids they didn't know where he went he just disappeared i mean what's the life expectancy of a hedgehog like 10 years or so and like he goes imagine if he imagine if he goes over there it's like oh fuck they're dead no it was like Six months in Sonic's um, world was like six years in uh, Chris's world. So, like, if he was there for a few months, then it would have been a few years. Space so. And, like, that's forever. So, you know, they're, I guess. Dead. they're all dead. When Chris goes back. He's like, well, I guess I'll just live with Sonic for the rest of my life. Yeah, I'm confused by that timeline thing. But anyway, this was the, the final season was where they go into space. Yeah, yeah, that's where you don't know what else to do with your series. I need to I, I need to vent this, though. At the end of season two... Um, they're about to send everybody back and, um, like Sonic's about to walk through the portal home, but Chris is like, no, fuck you. I want my best friend. So he like shuts down the portal, kidnaps Sonic, and then they go on like a cross country road trip together for a few episodes. Hell yeah. Chris and Sonic go to White Castle oh, <laughs> yeah. to lick my asshole. It was so bad. Someone oh, got to make a poster of that. <laughs> And then Chris is like, you're the only true friend I've ever had. What the and it's fuck? like, what the fuck? You had all those other people. Man, calm down. You're <laughs> not going to make your album with this. What the fuck? You had all those other friends. You had a fucking butler. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You had a butler that had like yeah. Japanese Chinese secrets. Fuck you! Chris. He had a he had a Spanish maid. I want a Spanish so maid. Bad. What the fuck? <laughs> Chris doesn't have enough shit. Rename oh this podcast as Pan Rants. What? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck you, Chris. Fuck you. It's not enough. If Lauren Falls was here, she would knew what to do. <sighs> Pan, Pan, I'm gonna, okay. Pan, I'm, you gotta breathe. I have some Sonic X DVDs, and I'm gonna send them to you. <laughs> and I want you to watch a few of the episodes, because the episode I'm talking about, I own it, and I'll send it to you. <laughs> and fucking literally, he's like, you're like the only real friend I've ever had. I'm, I'm, no, I'm fine now. I'm, I was just like, I can't believe this show. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> the final season, they go into space with this, because Tails made a girlfriend with this plant thing. 
Yeah, he fucked a plant. Yeah. Poor Tails. Tails like he lost his best friend to he lost his plant. best friend to Chris and he just he just went downhill after that. He just had to fuck a plant. Like <laughs> Yeah, Tails Flower is sexy. I don't Amy Rose Rose. I'm gonna fuck a Rose now. I don't know. Yeah, Tails went through some shit in this show. Like he got character development and everything, and then Sonic and Chris are just like, wait, that's cool. Yeah. All right, Sonic. I mean Tails was the one that always kinda got some character development, like in uh, Sonic Ad- Adventure One. Yeah, and then they threw that all away, and now he's just kind of like a sarcastic asshole. That no one I don't like. I haven't been playing the recent Sonic games, so I don't know how Tails is like now. But anyway, that's that's the end of the Sonic cartoons until Boom comes out. Yeah. I mean, I saw that one preview where he's in that mountain spiral. That looks fun. I mean, it looks it has better CGI than Beware the Batman. And also yeah. better CGI than the other acclaimed cartoon series. Donkey Kong Country? Uh, I, w- I need to do a video on like the Donkey Kong Country games. Okay. Um, my yeah, we friend... gotta do a lot of things. Yeah, I'll never get around to that. Okay. I need to, I need to talk about that for a second. So my friend Nigel um, got me that um, show for Christmas. Donkey Kong Country? Um, shout out to Nigel. Fuck you. Never get me that again, you stupid cunt. Anyway, um, and, we saw, and we saw one episode. It was like... Um, there was this golden banana from the um, spirit Inka Dinka Do or whatever. And like he goes, Inka Dinka Do something or Inka Dinka Don't that. And that's not the stupid part. The stupid part is Donkey Kong gives this um, cursed golden banana to his girlfriend. And this later becomes a plot point, And they start singing a song together called Our Love is Stronger Than a Golden Banana. <laughs> YOLO. Oh. <laughs> I've, had, I've had enough bad cartoon, bad video game cartoons. You, this is all this. Take yeah, don't breath. fuck this up, boom! Don't fuck it up. Yeah, and let's move on to the next subject. But let's uh, let's answer some fan questions. Now it's time for the Q&A questions. If anyone has any questions, just post them in the YouTube comments here. Oh, okay, Q&A. Pan, when will you ever review Attack on Titan? I will soon. I already made the Toonami style promo, but anyway. Oh, when are you going to review SpongeBob? First question. King of Fish Gaming says, were you dropped on your heads as children? Actually, um... My sister had a seizure while she was holding me, and she dropped me. Okay. Uh, actually, Not a joke. Actually, actually yes. I, I was dropped on my head as a children, as a child. Is that what you wanted? Do you feel better about yourself? I could have died. Well, I mean, I don't know if you're joking. No, Ken, but no. Oh, my God. Well, well, okay. If you want me to soften the blow a bit, like um, she was sitting down while holding me, so it wasn't like a deep, big drop, but she still dropped me. So Well... It's no big deal. I mean, I only got this fucked up, so. Yeah, you're fine. You, you ain't done anything that crazy. I mean, I was going to say, I, when, when they said, where you dropped his heads as children, I was going to say, we were dropped like an Adventure Time subplot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All five all around. I could have fucking died, but whatever. I, I wrote an apology letter to Jesse Moningham after I did that podcast. I'm going to kick you your did? ass. You did? He's, he's, he's a nice guy. Fuck you. you. Pussy. <laughs> you, he responded to my apology. He's nice. You should be the pussy. What'd he, what he say? What'd he say? He said, he said, thank you for the nice email. It's hard to have your work being seen by so many people. Stuff like that. He's nice. Uh, okay. Okay. He's going to hate me forever, though. We're like mortal enemies. Here's the next question. Is Zaya Grey Wolf, Pan Pizza, or well, any you people in general, are you a furry? Oh, face. Um, I am kind of. Oh, face. What? I didn't know that. Dude, I have a fur affinity. Oh, of course you. I'm not telling anybody what it is, though. You have to find yourself. Oh, face. That's all I have to say. Oh, face. I thought furries were like these people who just want to fucking fur suits, but it turns out there's more to it. It's people who really love the outfits and stuff, which some of them are pretty impressive, though. Okay, I'm not, I'm not one of those fursuit people, though. I just kind of draw it because, like... To be honest, the way I got into it, my friends were just like, dude, do it. Just draw it for me. And I'm like, okay, sure. And I was like. And then you're like, oh, my God, this is hot. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to you, Ken? <laughs> dude, I, your microphone echoed perfectly. 
<laughs> you became a god. That was the best timing I've ever seen. But yeah, that's basically what happened. I'm not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't consider myself hardcore or anything. I just, I'm just like. I just admire the porn, and they happen to be furries. That's kind of how it goes. Oh boy. I'm not a furry, although Miss Briggs from SWAT Cats, she's great. <laughs> but what about Sally? No, no, that's wrong. That's immoral. Princess Sally is not that hot. But she's nude. Yiff in hell. Nude. Yiff in hell, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, and also Felicia from Darkstalkers. Uh, if anyone doesn't know Darkstalkers, like if you ever play Marvel vs. Capcom 2, there's this uh, cat girl that was... You just look her up, Felicia. Oh, I've drawn her before. Yeah, she's okay. I'd, I'd give her a solid seven. She's the greatest. Candy, do you like to yiff? Yiff me in hell. Yeah, in hell. Oh, this next question says, it's by Napita Lehion. How many cans would it take to read a sentence? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck. I'm dead, by the way. That way you hear this echo. Uh I died during the podcast. Uh, I pissed off. I pissed off someone. Jesse Morningham took his revenge. You killed me, you dickhead. Yeah, but yes, you did totally blow it in Breezy. I can't believe you. Oh, just leave him alone. He didn't do anything wrong. I hope Hashtag you leave die Jesse Morningham in 2014. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag Rebel Squad. Save your offensive comments in below. On other videos, Come up with the most care. offensive comments you can and then um, put hashtag um, Rebel Squad. If you love us, if you hate us, then uh, say you hate us, hashtag Rebel Squad. Yeah. Die in a hole, hashtag Rebel Squad. The most offensive thing you can think of, then go hashtag Rebel Squad. And also send me actual questions because I get bored on a Sunday night. I don't go that to too. search. Uh, God doesn't want me there for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You are a god now. I now that, am a god. Now that all of that plugging is done, Pan, go on with the next question. Zorek04 says, will the podcast be available on iTunes? No, that costs too much money. No, uh, unless when Pan's album sells, like it will, uh, it won't. Oh, yeah, guys, Pan's working on an album, by the way. We'll talk about it yeah. later. It's very um, eld- um on the down low right now, but we'll reveal more information soon. My my own covers like here the x-men theme i'm gonna do the x-men theme pan dl dl this is you're leaking it you're leaking it to the public okay oh man i got leaked next next question jason prince pan pizza what the hell do you do in the time you're not editing and or doing whatever the fuck that you do oh, i know this i know this you're drinking it to raven that too but um, they're like, I should make a video while drinking to Raven. But you basi- never I do. think basically the question is, what does Pan do when he's not being his online persona? Basically, just doing the comics. That art takes forever, and then just scrolling through Tumblr. That's basically all I do. Yeah. Do you ever hang out with friends, or are you just like an introverted fuckface? Oh, I do have friends. <laughs> well, I mean, I do hang out with them, but not as much as up on Tumblr because that's like every single day of my life. Also, school. This uh, next question. Carl Brown, how often do you watch porn? Not trying to sound weird, but you seem to have a lot of references to porn in some of your videos. Well, not as much as abortions, but that's a different oh. story. <laughs> another We're another fucked. side, another story, Kingdom Hearts. We're just fucked up people, that's why. Um we have problems. Well, I don't I don't watch videos so much as I do look at pictures, and with pictures it's pretty much hourly. <laughs> I'd rather watch cartoons. You people just reveal everything. Oh, my God. You people are sick. (laughs) Fuck you. What's the big deal? I don't see the big deal in answering a question. Can't we all just pretend we don't watch porn and be happy? No. That'd be a fucking lie. I just like cartoons. You don't don't like like your public. The best ever cartoon porn person is Zone. She's... She or she, this per- she makes. I don't like, know what her sex is, but Pan could it's have a like. Heap. Pan's in denial. It's a girl, so shut up. Pan have like a 50 percent chance of being really gay or really straight. Zone makes like cartoon porn parodies, and they're really on model. They're animations, and they look very close to the actual show. She did uh, some of uh, Teen Titans. The Modifiers TV pilot. My life as a teenage robot. Yeah, but don't get confused. Like, uh, Penn never put anything, like, Flash animated to Foster's any of his videos. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends where Blue has two dicks. 
Oh yeah, that's iconic. Yeah, that was classic. That yeah, was Pan, nice. Pan basically, if um, if Pan, if Zone Tan turns out to be a girl, Pan wants to eat her out. Oh yeah. If she turns out to be a boy, he wants to suck his dick. Oh yeah. And then Pan never talked to Zone Tan again because Zone Tan got creeped the fuck out. Yeah. Zone Tan would never talk to me. She would never. He will never. Shut up. He would never. <laughs> She's the best. Maybe one day. Okay, move on to the next question. I'm a god, so I have I have rights. Deja Henry, why did you decide to start reviewing shows? And give me the Ken. We need new content every each week. Keep it up. Oh my god, your laugh makes me laugh. I wish I was in the middle of Walmart listening. <laughs> what? What? The what? Fuck? Don't even answer that question. What? Yeah. Why did I start reviewing? Basically, I always wanted to review stuff like reading an, uh, I think Game Informer and then seeing that they had a retro section on Game Informer. It's like, wow, I want to review old games. And then YouTube came around and I saw Angry Video Game Nerd and Nostalgia Critic and I really wanted to do video games. But then... My interest was to movies, but I never actually did anything. Now, for years, I did not do anything because I was afraid of my own voice. So until like 2010, I started to do stuff and I, I stuck to cartoons because no one else really talks about current cartoons. Hardly anyone with my production quality It's always just some guy with like a still image and just talking into their mic. Yeah, production with like a band in the background. God, you sound like Doug Walker. <laughs> Like, you like don't a, have to do anything as high end as us, said that guy with the glasses. Oh yeah, they won't. They, yeah, they don't think I'm good enough, and they won't let me on. I guess. Yeah. It's just funny, just a like, pro tip for anybody: don't refer to your stuff as like high end or high production quality or whatever, because that makes you sound like an ass. I think I'm pretty high end. I'm like the highest end ever. Like, if there was another cartoon reviewer, I think it would be like done. Because like when I saw Pie Guy Rules, I'm like, no, pan, no more, nope. I'm done. Yeah, Pan, your stuff is good. Just don't go like be bragging like an asshole. You're just, not better than Ben the Looney. About it. I mean, when Ben the Looney came on, it was just over for you. You gotta admit that. <laughs> <laughs> he watches these videos. Don't do that to him. Don't be mean. Hey, ben and the then Looney. Lava Pasta came on and the ship oh, crashed, yeah. burned. <laughs> yeah, you were done after Lava Pasta came on. He was all like, <laughs> He's, Yeah, he does videos too. He's our friend. Lava Pasta's a good friend of ours. We just like making fun of our friends, right, Pam? I, I, can't, I can't wait for like Lava Pasta to see this, and he's going to be like, I made a video about you, dude. <laughs> yeah, he made a tribute video to me. That was one of his first videos. And like a little while after he made that video, we were talking on Skype, and I was talking about how I want to punch Madoka, this magical anime girl in the crotch region for some reason. <laughs> and he was like, I made a tribute video, man. He just he just couldn't believe the things I was saying at 4 a.m., which when you get me at 4 a.m., I start saying all these horrible things about these cartoon girls. Yeah. The first time I met Pan, like, I just was like, oh, I want a cameo in one of your videos. Haha. <laughs> and he was like, OK. And I was like, Ugh. yeah, that was like one of the worst starts to a friendship ever. But here we are. <laughs> yeah, somehow. Yeah, and then we just ended up talking on Skype, and I was like, wow, I was real douche, so, like... Hey, guys, want to hear my XLR impression? For it. Hey, I'm black. Oh, this is how this is all XLR talks. Hey, Ben, you, <laughs> you, you ever see Scooby-Doo? <laughs> <laughs> do, do an impression of me. I want to see what you... I'm Nolan. I want to have sex with all these terrible looking characters like the the guy from the Lego. Movie. Fuck you. The, the actual Lego piece. <laughs> Don't fucking go there, man. And it's, hey. it's so fucking hot. Oh, my God. He's a How fucking, fucking God, dare I'm you make fun of my Lego husband, you motherfucker. I don't want to get bricked in the mouth by Emmett. Oh, I love bad people. Mm. <laughs> oh, you guys are fucking dead. Mm. Sonic the Hedgehog's hot. I like the classic design, though. Mm. Oh, yeah. How old is she? He? 12? Old enough. Oh, well, that's the, I assume, the end of the podcast. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to plug in uh, okay. XLR's video they made. No, I, uh, no, wait. I'm XLR. Let me, let me uh, plug my video. I made a video on top 10 trios in animation. Look that up. My YouTube video is Happy Crown Productions. Go look that up. I'm XLR. Hey, support my friend. 
I'm Lava Pasta, and I make reviews too. I review Nutbuster. Is that where I just just bust a nut for like three minutes? It's pretty cool. It's pretty fucking hot. Is this is it over? Can we can we go now? I guess so. Who are you, people? I'm Big Boss. Close enough. I, I'm Kenneth Thinks. Uh, I made uh, I I do stuff on the Tumblr, uh, and I'm dead. So you know, give me some pity else. follows. I'm, I'm Pan Pizza. I hate Sonic the Hedgehog now. The cartoons. That's the end of the podcast. I'm a stupid moron with an ugly face and a big butt, and my butt smells, and I like to kiss my own butt. And this is the worst podcast ever. Goodbye. Hashtag fuck Chris Thorndike 2014. Chris Thorndike is a... Hashtag kill this joke. Hashtag we're not going to repeat this joke ever again. Okay, bye. Bye. Hashtag we're probably going to get replaced. Later. Yeah.